The Southeast Asia Women's Economic Empowerment Fund, or SWEF, is AIB's first investment in a gender-focused fund. So the fund targets to invest in sectors and companies that will support women's economic empowerment in Southeast Asia, supporting women entrepreneurs, women employees, and consumers. The target sectors of the fund include healthcare, education, climate change mitigation, and adaptation. And the target countries are in Southeast Asia, and mainly in Indonesia, Vietnam, and the Philippines. Um, through this investment, the project team hopes to address two issues in Southeast Asia. Firstly, we want to reduce the financing gap for women entrepreneurs. Southeast Asia has a lot of SMEs, and many of those SMEs are owned by women. However, the financing gap is huge. For example, in Vietnam, only one in five women-owned SMEs are well served by formal financing channels. The second issue we want to address is to improve the gender equality and diversity at workplace. Many Southeast Asian companies are still male-dominated and have not yet tapped the female talent at workforces and leadership teams. In addition, very few companies there have existing policies to promote and support gender diversity and inclusion at workplaces. So lastly, we also hope to incentivize the fund manager by linking their performance fee with the sustainability targets. Uh, for example, women-owned or women-led businesses, gender diversity and governance, and climate disclosure. So for healthcare, you know, women and girls in Southeast Asia, they need affordable and accessible healthcare services and products. And for education, it is at the core of building human capital, which is also the key driver of inclusive economic growth. And for climate change mitigation and adaptation, the statistics have shown that women and girls in Southeast Asia are affected by a more percentage than male. So it is also very important to foster change in this field. It's worth highlighting that the fund's target sectors have strong linkages with women's economic empowerment. So, for example, investing in healthcare infrastructure will provide more employment opportunities to women, who are the key force in the health system. By investing in education infrastructure, it will increase the edu education level for women and girls, which will uh, allow them to find better jobs and enhance their financial capability. And in the end, I think that climate change infrastructure is also very important because women and girls tend to be more vulnerable to climate risks than men. Therefore, investing in climate infrastructure, such as providing more cleaner energy, will help to reduce the health impacts on women and girls. As a female professional myself, I felt extremely honored to be part of the project team that commits AIB itself to the first uh, Women's Economic Empowerment Investment Fund.